Hello, my name is Andrei Patap. I am from Skolko University of Science and Technologies. Today, I want to present our work on hierarchical visual localization based on sparse feature pyramid for adaptive reduction of key point map size. Interest in this study is sparked by the explosive growth of the mobile robot market. Nowadays, top companies around the world, such as NVIDIA, are involved in the creation of maps for mobile robot operation. Every year, the number of companies in need of such services will only increase. The number of investments attracted to this market to solve the problems of localization is mapping is also growing. This market is in need of efficient mapping technologies to solve emerging problems. The localization of mobile robots is a fundamental and important task, the solution of which is necessary for safe and reliable autonomous operation. It is aimed at finding the exact point of the robot on a pre-built map. In today's world, the size of maps for robots localization is growing due to the expansion of the implementation areas. State-of-art approaches remain a trade-off between the weight of the resulting map and accuracy. Therefore, in this work, the main research question is how to reduce the size of maps used for autonomous robot localization while keeping their robustness and scalability. Where are various methods to reduce the size of map for localization? The most straightforward approach is named binary coding. It's aimed at representing descriptors for mapping in binary form, which allows this method to be applied to any scenes. However, the reduction in map size is small compared to the other state-of-the-art methods. In the article Efficient Scene Compression, the was proposed the algorithm which leaves only those points that cover the surface sufficiently for representation. But it doesn't offer a single approach suitable for all scenes. Another method, named hybrid compression, leaves descriptors of the most important features unchanged and compress the rest of the features. This method provides state-of-the-art map compression and localization accuracy metrics, but requires additional processing. Hierarchical approaches have high-precision hierarchical maps, which reduce resource cost, but they still remain a supervised method. Plus, the current relevant works allows either to achieve high accuracy or high compression robustness, while balanced methods require additional processing. We propose an approach for creation of lightweight map for localization obtained by an unsupervised neural network which will bypass limitation of the presented methods. We suggest to use a learning-based feature extractor based on the UNet architecture with the specification blocks in skip connections. At the first stage, the neural network forms a dense feature pyramid, which consists of several layers, each of which contains features that describe image pixels. A feature consists of a key point and a descriptor. A key point is an image pixel with X and Y coordinates. A descriptor is a numeric vector uniquely identifying a key point. In the second step, a specification block is used for each layer for estimation of the probability that the feature will be used in image restoration process or not. Based on the obtained probabilities, a binary mask of zeros and ones is formed which allows to obtain a sparse feature pyramid containing only a part of the key points. These descriptors can be concatenated and combined to achieve higher localization accuracy, or they can be used separately to further decrease of the map size used in our localization pipeline. The network is trained in an unsupervised manner which allows applying to different environments without ground truth data. We developed a localization pipeline to test and validate both the weight of the map and the localization accuracy of our work. In the first step for mapping and query images, the proposed approach was used to obtain local descriptors. Further, 
the net plot was used to obtain global descriptors. The resulting global descriptors were matched to obtain mapping to mapping and query to mapping image pairs. Then the local features of the mapping images were matched according to the pairs received by NetFlat, and after that the call map framework was used to create the map. The same process was carried out for the query to mapping image pairs. At the last stage, the query images were localized on the resulting map and the accuracy of the approach was evaluated. Our network is able to produce geometrically correct key points. And to obtain subpixel accuracy and estimate offset, bilinear interpolation and the non-maximum suppression were applied to the output. This made it possible to improve the quality of key points location in the image and estimate large clusters. These parameters of the neural network were used to extract features for further experiments. In order to achieve high quality localization, it's important to extract the same key points every time and correctly match them. To check the quality of key points received by sparse feature pyramid, the ash patch dataset was used. It consists of sequences with changes of lightning and viewpoint conditions. And it also contains image transformation matrices uh, for ground truth. Key point detection and description was performed for each dataset image, after which matching was performed using the nearest neighbor search. The correctness of matches was checked using the transformation matrix. The match was considered as a correct match if the reprojection error does not exceed uh, the threshold in pixels. Next, mean matching accuracy was calculated displaying the mean percent of correct matches for each pair of images in sequence overall the whole data set. Two approaches have shown the most success. The use of the long descriptor describing most of the pictures, which are marked as a course in the legend, and the use of short descriptors describing the points, which are marked as fine in the legend. Sparse feature pyramid features demonstrate matching levels comparable to the state-of-the-art approaches, while requires 47 times less memory than the most accurate approach D2Net. The next step was an experimental test of the localization accuracy and map data. For this, the Cambridge Landmarks dataset was chosen. It contains five unique outdoor scenes divided into sets of the images for mapping and query. The experiment was carried out according to the developed software system. At the first stage, based on the sparse feature pyramid features, the map for localization was built and its size was calculated. At the second stage, the query images were localized using the obtained map and the localization accuracy was evaluated. To do this, mean translation and notation errors were calculated for each image based on the estimated and graph truth positions data. The size of the resulting map and 168 times smaller than the map size of the active search method does not use any compression. At the same time, the localization accuracy is twice as high at the same order compression rate compared to the most successful method named hybrid compression. To check uh, the required amount of memory for storing the map, the accuracy of localization, the experiment also were carried out on seven scenes dataset. At the beginning, features for image mapping were obtained for each of the scenes, after which scene reconstruction to build based on them. Well, for each scene, we also calculated median errors for camera translation and rotation. They were defined as the sum of the errors data for each image that was localized in the resulting scene. Hierarchical approach showed comparable localization accuracy of 4.97 and 1.5 cm and degrees on seven scenes, and the same time requires 10 times less memory than the state-of-the-art combination of the methods like SuperPoint plus SuperGlue. And they have the same accuracy of localization.
To sum up, we have developed a novel learning-based feature extractor with sparse feature pyramid that is capable of detecting hierarchical layers of key point TV descriptors of different types. Sparse feature pyramid extractor allows reducing the volume of stored descriptors up to 33 times in comparison to the state-of-the-art approach. Sparse feature pyramid extractor allows to reduce the volume of map for localization up to 168 times compared to the method without any compression and to obtain accuracy twice as high compared to compression methods with the same order of the map size.